Welcome to my Extrify M4 wireless review, a mouse that had surprised me when I tried the wired version with its incredible build quality at a very good price. Let's start with the specification. So this mouse is 120 millimeters long between 56 and 68 millimeters wide and 39 millimeters tall and weighs just 71 grams in total. The mouse supports 2.4 gigahertz lag free wireless with a one millisecond response time. You get KLGM 8.0 switches for the mouse one and two and an ARM 32 bit microcontroller very fancy. You also get a USB dongle, an adapter and a USB type C cable which is the Extrify Easy cord. I'll start off by saying that the shape for me isn't great and I'll explain to you why so I can get this out of the way. Basically for me my hand doesn't fit on it so well. When I try to grip it normally you can see on the underside there's a gap between my lower thumb and the mouse which basically means there's no natural support here and this section can start feeling a bit stiff after a while. You can also see below it that the bottom part of the mouse is kind of digging into my palm a bit more than it should. If I move my hand down a bit you can see that it starts to get snug and it is a lot more comfortable but that means I have to move my hand down lower so more of my palm is in contact with the mouse pad thus also being more uncomfortable. I hope I've explained myself, for reference sake it does it with the other back as well. Anyway despite this the quality that I expected of Extrify remains here, it honestly feels despite the holes very sturdy and well built. I don't find the holes annoying at all and as a sweaty gamer they're actually a blessing during the hotter days to the point that I'd actually swap to my M42 during the summer just because it was more comfortable. The coating or what's left of it is a soft matte and I think it's really nice. I say that it's most similar to Logitech's kind of coating if I had to compare it to something and if there were no holes it would probably be comfortable. All the buttons and switches feel great, the mouse 1 and 2 are using the KLGM 8.0s which are the preferred choice of many gamers. I think they're very nice, they're very consistent and there's no pre or post travel with the buttons themselves either. The side buttons have the same quality also, feeling very crisp. They are quite large and they also stick out by quite a bit as well so they're even easier to reach by rolling the thumb. The scroll wheel is great also, the notches feel very solid, it has a nice scroll to it and it's very quiet. The switch is consistent and feels very nice to use. So I'd say this scroll wheel could receive some sort of seal of approval. The button underneath the scroll wheel is multi-purpose which I'll get to later. On the bottom side you have a whole host of sliders and buttons at your disposal. Also included are four PTFE mouse feet that are in my opinion a bit small. There's also a spare pack in the box thankfully and even comes with one to place around the sensor if you prefer. To continue this is where most of the interesting stuff happens. On the slider at the bottom you can change the function of the top button underneath the scroll wheel to change DPI, RGB or have it set to page down. So you can bind that button to something on your keyboard and have it doubled up on your mouse. Wowie. A note on the DPI, there's eight. 400, 800, 1200, 1600, 3200, 4000, 7200 and 19,000. It hurts. Also using various functions you can change the debounce time, the lift off distance and also factory reset it. But that's not all you can do. There's also a polling rate button to the left of the sensor as well and if you want to play around with the RGB you can do so with a series of button presses that makes me feel like I'm using a Rubik's Cube. On the Extrify M42 you could pop off the back and replace it with another one of a different shape to see what's right for you. I like this idea as it was simple and well done. Here that remains but it's no longer done by magnets but with screws. So you have to flip the mouse over, bust out the screwdriver which comes included and remove three screws, take it off and put the other back on. If you decide to try out for a bit you'll have to screw it in so it stays in place then go through the process again to change it back. What I loved with the M42 was that I could just try both of them whenever I want it would be very easy to swap them and I could just keep on doing this until I found one that felt great for me. Here I feel like it's just too much. It's a lot of effort to go through especially if you want to give each one a good go and get a feel for the difference. So honestly this is a bit of a downgrade and a miss for me. I just really like the magnetic version, it was just a really good way of doing it. The next big feature is the weight distribution. Basically you can move the battery so you can have a mouse that's top or bottom heavy or more balanced in the middle depending on your preference. You do this by unscrewing these two screws slightly and moving the top screw up and down according to where you want it to lie. Honestly, again, this is a miss as well. I can see the idea behind it, but there's been almost no cases where I've really felt the need to change the weight balance on a mouse. Maybe with a G305, but that's because the battery is 20 plus grams. I really feel like this feature could have been skipped, but I have to applaud someone for trying something new, especially if it doesn't really affect the other parts of the mouse unless that is the reason why the back isn't kept on with magnets anymore. If that's the case, I prefer this to go for the easier back removal. 
For wireless, extra fires say that it can last up to 75 hours, but they say it depends on the Hertz, lighting, on or off, and playstyle. I'd like them to be a bit more honest with this and say what's expected with 1000 Hz, colors on or off, etc. as an estimate. But anyway, I've charged it once in like two weeks, so to me, the battery life is fine and you get the same cable that comes with other extra fine mice. So if you do have to plug it in, the cable is good enough to play with regardless. So the mouse overall still retains the best parts of extra fine, a really surprising build quality standard and a very large amount of attention to detail. I do feel though that maybe it's gone a bit too overboard with features. I think not having software is fine if you've got the standard DPI and polling rates, but I feel like with some finer customizations, just give people software. There's eight DPIs. If you're someone that swaps around often, you're gonna have a rough time. And all the color changing, lift off distance. I mean, it just honestly feels like you're playing with a Rubik's Cube at some point because you're just flipping the mouse so many times over to change all the settings. The weight balance feels like an okay idea, but ultimately I think they've ended up proving to me that it's a feature that I never really needed. The removable back as well was my favorite feature on the M42 and has been downgraded on this one as well. But overall, I can recommend this mouse. The price of around $99, £90 or around about €90 Euros is actually pretty great for what you're getting. And that's a very sturdy wireless mouse that is patched with some high performance stuff. And you get some good switches, a Pixar 3370, which is a very good sensor and very power efficient. I do wish the mouse was a bit more suitable for my grip, but I'm not going to make it seem like a bad mouse because it's not made for my hands. It just means that I wait in anticipation for other mice from Extrify because honestly, as I can't use this often, it makes me feel a bit sad, like I'm missing out. If this mouse is good for your grip, honestly, you're a very lucky person. I envy you. It's really been a good mouse to use in game for the time that I've been able to use it. I'm just putting this out there though, extra fire. You made a rocket jump ninja mouse. How about you give me a shot? It's, you know, it's guaranteed to be great. It'll be a bestseller. It'll have a good shape. You know, everybody will love it, including me.